That'd be interesting, actually, to see you go up against a man. That would, uh, I, I mean, that's not something for the MMA community necessarily, but it would certainly be an interesting fight to see from the outside, to bring in people from the outside, a woman against a man. Yeah, I mean, that's happened to me a couple times, not in, like, the sanctioned, you know, legal way. But, you know, it's it was entertaining to everybody that saw it because we got applause afterward. <laughs> you got to tell but, me um, about this. No, What's the story usually... there? What are the stories there? Oh, I got jumped by a bunch of guys in a the movie theater, and I beat them up, and then everyone clapped. <laughs> and then I was like, maybe I should fight in front of people because people tend to like it, you know. That was one, one of the, my first MMA experiences. <laughs> a bunch but, of yeah. men in a movie theater? Yeah, it was like it was like four couples. So it was like four guys and four <laughs> girls, and um, a couple of them, like, headed me off in the aisle. And, like, it was like a thing. Their girlfriend was rude. And I told her that she was rude, and they tried to act tough in front of their girlfriend. And she, like, was knocking me in the head with her boot and just being rude. They were that group of people that were just rude and loud throughout the whole movie. And so, um, you know, I told the girl that I took her boot off and threw it after the movie, <laughs> and I told her to go get some manners. And then um, her boyfriend didn't like that. And her boyfriend's friends didn't like that. And so they headed me off in the aisle and told me to go get the boot. And they wouldn't let me leave. And they pushed me. And they wouldn't let me leave. And so I was technically in a kidnap situation. I learned this from my lawyer. And, um, yeah, I was fearing for my life. So I had to defend myself. And so I defended myself very well. And so they sued me. <laughs> Whatever. The good thing was I was an aisle, you know, so I was between the seats and the wall, and they couldn't get around me, so I had them, like, one at a time. It was actually, like, a good situation for, you know, a uh, multi-person fighting situation. <laughs> so what are you doing? Are you just throwing <laughs> elbows at the faces of men? Are you throwing fists? You're just bringing them all one-on-one? -on -one? You're like Keanu Reeves in The Matrix telling them to come on? Like, what are you doing? Um, well, I tried to get through, and I told them if they didn't let me through, I'd have to do something about it. So I tried to get through, and the guy pushed me back, and while he was pushing me, I grabbed him by his shirt, and I started punching him with one hand. And, like, <laughs> like his other friend came behind me and got me around the neck and was pulling me backwards. But I had his friend by the shirt, so I was still punching him, and I dropped the one guy, and the one guy had me around the neck, so I threw him over my shoulder. And then my cousin and my friend Marina, they went and, like, grabbed the other guys to keep them out of it. And the one girl was trying to get in and mash me in the face. And my friend Marina pushed her out of the way. And she went face first in the seats. And then they went and told the police that I punched the girl, which I never did. I just beat up the two guys. And then, um, <laughs> yeah, I just turned into this big thing. And um, the funny thing is my shoe came off because I was fighting in flip-flops, like you do. And um, so everyone was just losing shoes. I threw her shoe. I lost my shoe. Everyone's looking for shoes. But, um, yeah, you know, it was one of those things that. Most girls go through, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Many girls go through that. All the time that happens. <laughs> what were you like?